you back. So in the previous class we had done multiplication by one digit number, multiplication by two digit number and I hope you have learned your tables and many of you are getting the self-assessment test right. Very good, some of you are working hard. So today we are going to learn about problems on multiplication but before that just like in class we have five minutes another mental work so are you ready okay six sevens are fast fast 42 nine eights are 72 some of you are very slow you are starting from nine ones and nine twos are you must know quickly again let's try eight eights are 64. Yes, some of you got it right very quickly. Next, 5 9 are 45. Very good. So these are the things that we should know. When we learn tables, we should be quick, not just start from again. If I say 9 7s are 9 1s are 9 9 2 are 18, it's very slow. No? You must be quick. So 9 7s are 63. Okay, let's go to another problem now based on this. I eat six sweets in one day. In one day, six, six sweets. So, in six days, how many sweets will I eat? What are you going to do? You are going to multiply. Or you, some of you are going to six, 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 six. That's going to take a very long time. So, you just multiply. Six, six, up, 36. Let's try another one. One chocolate cost five rupees. Okay, 10 chocolates cost how much? 5 tens are 50. Very good, some of you got it. Now let's try another one. One packet of sweets cost 100 rupees. So how many, how much will 6 packets cost? So easy, no? 100, 600, 600. So what we are going to do, we are going to do the same way. Okay, so this question says each day 31 aeroplanes, airplanes depart from an airport. How many, and we have to find out how many planes depart in a year. In a year, we cannot multiply by 31, multiply by year. In one year, how many days? 365. Remember that there's another sum like this. If I eat 10 sweets in one day, how many sweets will I eat in a week? Will you multiply by a week? No. You have to think. In one week, how many days? 7. Very good. So you have to multiply by 7. So we are not going to write the statements. Let's do it the easier way where children find it easy. We could write the statements and do it. Now what we are going to do is we'll Write the bigger number on top. Days. Okay, we'll write the statements. Days in a year. How many? 365. 3, 6, 5. Make sure when you write another statement, the number should be written below. This one. Each day, how many aeroplanes depart from the airport? In one day, how many aeroplanes depart? In one day, 31 airplanes depart. In one day, 31 air. Let's write abbreviation airplanes depart. So we have written the statements now. And we must multiply by 31. Okay, let me go back now. Each day, 31 airplanes depart from an airport. And we have to find out how many planes depart in a year. That is, in one year, how many days? 365. So we are going to write the statements now. So days in a year, 365. And how many planes depart? from the airport each day in one day 31 airplane AP means airplane depart so now we do the calculation 
वन फाइव जा फाइव ओके मस्ट कीप मल्टीप्लाई विथ वन दिस फर्स्ट लाइन इज ओनली वन वन फाइव जा फाइव वन सिक्स जा सिक्स वन थ्री जा थ्री I hope you have forgotten about this when we multiply with the tens. Again, let's expand thirty-one. When we expand thirty-one, we get thirty plus one. This zero, or you can put a cross, comes here, and then we start multiplying by three. Three fives are fifteen. One five. Three six are eighteen plus one nineteen one nine. Okay, now let's multiply. Three three are nine plus one ten. There's no more numbers, so we put ten here. And let's draw a line. Now to get the answer, we have to add. The first answer is this. Second answer is this. Both the answers we have to add it here, and then we get the answer, the overall answer. Five, six plus five, eleven. Carry one, ten, thirteen, one, three, one plus zero, one, and one. So now we've got the answer, and we have to write at the end. Okay. So we'll put three dots. Therefore, dot. You can put dot. You don't have to put dot. Well, the letter. Therefore, this sign is therefore. Three kikas means therefore. Okay. Just like we have addition sign plus division sign, a divide, multiplication sign, and x. So for short form, instead of writing therefore. We have to we have to come to a conclusion. Instead of writing that, we put this. So we have to write the answer at the end in a sentence. What answer did you get? Eleven thousand three hundred and fifteen. So therefore, therefore, therefore. Eleven thousand three hundred and fifteen aero planes depart. You get the answer from the question itself. Eleven thousand three hundred aero planes depart from the airport. Each day, okay, and the answers must be written in a sentence. Is that clear? Okay, did you understand that? Let's do it again. Each day, thirty-one airplanes depart from an airport. So, in one day, how many airplanes? Thirty-one, and we have to find out how many airplanes depart. In a year, so we we'll put we have put the bigger number on top. Days in a year, three hundred sixty-five. In one day, how many airplanes depart? Thirty-one airplanes depart. So how many airplanes depart from the airport in a year? Eleven thousand three hundred and fifteen. Therefore, one tika, another tika, another tika. This is a sign of therefore. Let's do another sum. So I think most of you have learned your table. So I'm not going to write the question because it will take a long time. I'm going to read. Okay, are you ready? So there are twenty-four color pens in a box. How many color pens? Twenty-four color. Pens in a box. And this is the question, short form, okay? And we have to find out how many color pens are there in 
425 boxes. Okay, this is the question that is in the book. Again, short form I'm, I'm writing the answer. 24 color pens in a box and they are altogether 425 boxes. Now, from looking at the question, we can make the statements. So let's put the bigger number on top. How many boxes are there? 425. So we can write number of boxes. How many? 425. So in each box, how many colors are there? 24 color pens. Number of color pens in one box. Now this statement can be anything. It doesn't have to be like mine also. It can change. For example, in one box, num in one box dash color pens. You can write statements can be made according to your liking. So, we have put number of boxes, 425. We have put this number on top because it's a bigger number. It will be easier for us to multiply because when we put 24 multiplied by 425, we can multiply that but it will be a little difficult. So, let's do that again. So, number of color pens in one box. How many? 24. So we have to multiply this to get your answer. We have to multiply to find out how many, how many color pens are there in all. So I'm going to use two different chalk so that you will easily understand which line we are multiplying. So 4, 5 are 22. 0. 4, 2 is 8 and 9, 10. 1, 0. 4, 4 is 16 plus 1, 17. There is no more numbers so we write both the numbers. Again, we have to put a 0 when we multiply with the second number because we are multiplying with the tens. If we don't put a 0, we have to do how many tables? 20 times table and that's going to be difficult. I have shown you how we have to uh, expand 20 plus 4 because this 22 belongs to the tens place. So that the value of 2, when we find the place value of 2, it is 20. Now instead of multiplying with 20, we put this 0 or a cross there. And now our sum is simple. We just multiply with 2. Did you get that? Good. So let's scratch out these carrot numbers which we have already finished. Otherwise some of you are going to add that again. Now I'm going to use a different chalk. Now we have to multiply with 2 and 5. 2 and 2. 2 and 4. 2 5s are 10. 2 0. Okay. 2 2s are 4. Plus 1. 5. 2 4s are 8. Now to get how many color pens are there in all those boxes, what should we do? We must add. So let's add. 0 plus 0, 0. 0 plus 0, 0. 7 plus 5, 12. You do not write 12 here, you carry the 10th tenth, tenth number. 1, 2. And 8, 9, 10. 1, Okay, you got that? Very good. Now we have to write the answer in a sentence. So, short form of therefore, one tika, one tika, one tika. Okay? So, what is the answer? 10,200. So, how many color pencils are there in all? There, therefore, there are. How many? 10,200 color pens.
in all. Okay, let's get back. I have written the question in short form. Okay, I have just taken the numbers from the problem. So how many how many colors are there in one box? 24 color pens. How many boxes are there? 425 boxes and we have to find how many color pens will there be in 425 boxes. So we have written the statements, number of boxes, 425. I have put the bigger number at the top because it's easier to multiply. And how many color pens in one box? Number of color pens in one box? 24. And when we multiply, we get the answer. And don't forget to write therefore and the answer in a sentence. Let's try one. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the full sentence. Otherwise you will be writing like me only. Ready? A music player costs a music let me give my own uh, numbers. A music player costs rupees 5064 and let's find Find the cost of twenty seven music players. Very good. So are we ready? So let's read the sentence again. A music player, one music player costs 5064. 5064. And we have to find the cost of 27 music players. So we can put this number on top. What is the cost of one music player? 5064. Cost of one music Player. How much? Rupees. Let's put this rupees. 5,664. And how many are you going to buy? You are going to buy 27. Number of music players. Can you write that? Okay. Number. How many? Means number. Number of music players how much? 27 so let's arrange that multiply by let's use the different chalk 27 ok let's try that now you understood this very good so we just multiply with 7 all the numbers in this first line you will get the answer that you multiply with 7 7 fours are 28 ok 7 six are first 42 43 44 44 now the original number is 0 and 4 is the carrot number so we should not multiply with this 4 this is the number that is given there. We must multiply with this. So seven zeros are zero plus four, four. And seven fives are thirty-five. So that is the answer that we got by multiplying by seven. So that is the first answer. Seven fours are twenty-eight, forty-four. 4, 7, 5 is 35. Now let's do with the next number. What do you have to put here? Why? Because we are multiplying the number with the tens place. So the place value of 2 is, two is 20. So instead of having to do 20 times table, we put a 0 or a cross. Only put 1. 
So are we ready? So again we do we have to find the second answer. Multiply with this, not with six. We must start with four. Two four is a eight. Two six is a twelve. One two. Two zero is a zero plus one. One. Very good. Two five is a ten. So to find the answer, we must plus add. 8 plus 0, 8. 8 plus 4, 12. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. 5 plus 1, 6. 3 plus 0, 3. And 1. So the answer we've got is 1 lakh 36 thousand seven hundred and twenty eight. Our answer is not complete. Now we have to write it in a statement. Therefore, again, three chikas. Therefore, that is short form of therefore. So, how many music players? You can write 27 music players. So if you haven't understood Churif, try and have a look, go back to the video and try and understand the sum and after understanding the sum, try and write the statements, put the bigger number on top so that it will be easier for you to multiply. Now you'll be getting your self-assessment test in problems but I have just written the, the problems are there. And you have to write that in your maths exercise book. Do the working out in your maths exercise book. And whatever answer is there, write it in the self-assessment form. Do not write the statement. Only write the answer without putting the commas. Okay? Because last time when we did, some of you put commas, some of you did not put commas. The numbers were right. The answer was right. But you got it wrong. So children, Please keep on learning your multiplication table because it's important. We need to do a lot and you must be quick at it. So, I'll be sending your homework in the evening. Take a look. Be safe and stay safe. See you again.